What's going on guys, Boat here, and first of all, I would like to thank any potential video maker that has actually downloaded this video and re-uploaded it onto their channel, and also I'd like to thank the subscribers of that person for, well, for taking the time to actually watch this video. Of course, if you're watching this video on my channel, then just ignore that, ask if anyone downloads it, but this video is going to be about a potential to revive a plus one PK world that actually has low ping for the majority of the game. The world I had actually in mind was world 23, as that used to be a fairly popular PK world, but I believe some people are going to have horrible ping there. However, this video is going to be directed at world 23. So, currently for PKing out there, World 18 is really horrible. It's just filled with rushes and all these people that are just like, don't respect like the fact of player versus player and are only out there to try and make money by killing people, PJing people. We all know about that, so I'm not going to fully go into it. But this video here is pretty much, we have around a month and a half, possibly two months left on this game before the combat rework and currently we're all stuck PKing in either World 18, World 65 or World 2 for a plus one world and all of them just seem to lag extremely badly and the communities around that world are really bad. Now as far as I'm aware, the communities watching video makers, most video makers are all for things like, like well most of them anyway, are, for, are people out there to try and get PKing to be like properly again. So that means I believe the majority of viewers who are possibly watching this video or video makers will be all for that idea, which means if multiple video makers actually upload this video or upload their own video, you don't have to upload so you can upload your own, your own if you want, we can possibly bring up a couple, well one or maybe more PKing worlds, plus one worlds that have low ping and it won't have all these rushes that don't know anything about PKing apart from that people are on either world 18 or world 2 because that's probably why those worlds are so bad, simply because they have no idea that any bomb PKs in other worlds or they're too afraid to go to the non plus one worlds, but when I PK, I'm a PK myself, you may already know me, once again if you're watching the video this is going to be really strange for you to be listening to, but I currently cannot PK in World 18 simply because of the community and the lag that is there. And I'm sure a lot of you are actually having the same thing. So I'm forced to go to non plus one worlds where unfortunately I can't use certain items that I'd love to. Like, I want to use my Tokar Cow a lot, but to lose that is like an hour of my time gone. And I'm don't, not really willing to do that. Every now and then I am, of course, but overall I'd much be able to protect it. And also to be a four iteming with like two more risk unscold, I can't do that either because I'm restricted to three items. So that is why I'm creating this video today. So I believe. That because the viewers of most YouTubers are probably more mature than the majority of people, like I said, that probably don't know people, PK in of worlds, we could possibly revive a PK world. And simply, just as I said before, I think we should try and revive world 23 as a PK world. Uh, it's a low ping world, it's actually an English world, and coming from me, I'm an Eng I play in England, I'm English, obviously, as you can probably tell by my voice, if you're one of those people that just seems to like people's accents or whatever. But that may make it sound a bit hypocritical that I'm trying to get a world that I'm going to have a huge, like, let's say, hand well, not really, the opposite of a handicap, really. Like, I have a huge benefit simply because I'm going to have the lowest ping out there and possibly people with equal ping, but no one's going to have low ping than me simply because I'm an English player. And then certain people are going to have really low ping. So if there's any other world that would probably be better, this might... Backup world was 139, but I think if this actually works well, well I'm going to try and upload another video sometime soon, talking about world 139 to try and become make that the new hybriding world, because if you remember a couple of months ago, probably more than that actually, when you when you wanted to go to a hybrid world, it was the bottom world, the very bottom members world, that was the hybriding world, and then that world was deleted and it completely just erased it. So if we get world 139 going as a hybriding world, then I'll probably make a video on that as well to try and get that going. But this video, as you've watched it, I believe we should try and get world 23 as a PK world. Now the hardest part, is trying to get people to be there all the time. And I'm not sure how we can do that. So I was thinking, I may do, like, depending on the comments on my own channel, I may make a small clan, and I can invite, I believe, like 200 people into this clan, and it'll pretty much just be a world dedicated to World 23. And you can all hop in this friends chat, and then obviously if the friends chat is busy all the time, you can find out how many people are into World 23, you can find out how many people are PKing at the time, which means we can PK in a non plus one world, because it wouldn't be effective if the only time it was busy was when either a PK was doing the live streams myself, whenever I'm live streaming, I get so many people like following me in game that if I hop to my own world, I have enough people to fight there in low ping permanently. But that wouldn't be good because then people couldn't PK there and it would be dead simply because there's no one to fight. So I mean, if we can get a solid 20 or so people there all the time, like coming and going, obviously maybe PKing at possibly a hundred people at sometimes, we could probably start off our own PKing with like strictly within the YouTube community of the video makers that are either making a video like this or, or just something along the lines. And it would probably be a really beneficial thing. Like I said, we have a month and a half left on the game and I am not willing to spend that in World 18 getting frustrated. Like I want to enjoy my last month and a half PKing really once I max my account if you actually follow me. But overall, if you, like, 
it's just ridiculous. I can't go in the wilderness anymore and enjoy myself because PKing is probably m the majority of that was good, but the majority of RuneScape video makers are PKers, really. And m overall, I speak on behalf of most video makers now, unless they don't lag in World 18. It is extremely difficult to enjoy PKing. Like, it doesn't even matter if you don't like in World 18. It is extremely difficult to enjoy PKing these days so that is why I think we should try and do this but overall I don't know the best way to go about this because if, if I upload this video now and then a few other people upload it and then just one person goes to World 23 and it's just completely empty they're going to leave straight away and this will do nothing so I do not know the best way to do it so, so leave some comments in whoever if whoever's uploaded this video leave comments in there they can contact me back well I don't know if they're going to if I'm going to contact them at all I'm going to upload this video and just ask them if they want to keep video and they can do it themselves or upload their own version but that's the probably the best way to do this but I think we can revive World 23 we can have a month and a half of really enjoying ourselves and in the game and we can potentially that's if you are quitting on the beta we can enjoy ourselves for the last month and a half really so I think it'd be a really good idea if uh, World 23 isn't beneficial for some people we can probably expand that and we could probably find a world where no one lags like the majority of my worlds really do have low ping and then some of them have ridiculously high ping such as world 18 and 65 it's just how we have to go about this i don't know the best way to do this so that is entirely up to your, you guys but i think this would be a really really good idea so um best way to do this is probably i don't know possibly you could just join my friends chat and we can well actually just ignore that. that's not going to work because it's going to be uploaded by more people i don't know the best way to do this i think that once you're watching this video if everyone just goes to world 23 we can start. I'm probably just going to, as soon as, as soon as I'm rendering this video, I'm going to go back to World 23 right now. I'm just going to stand in the wilderness and see how many people turn up, really. And I'm going to see if I can, we can possibly start off a PK, more PK going on in World 23. It would be really awesome to see. So, of course, if you're a video maker and you support trying to get a really good non plus one, well, a plus one world with low ping and just a really decent community. Overall, of course, rushes and all that are going to arrive, but as the, like I said, the majority of people are going to be the more mature people who are looking for a good PK build. We can spot a rusher a mile away, and if you just attack any rusher you want and leech spec, you can get rid of them quite easily. Raggers themselves, they're not going to probably rag much in Edgeville. It's going to be the hybrids thereafter, so stick this to Edgeville 101 PK, and we can work on a hybrid world sometime, but that will be a lot more difficult, so I'd recommend you just stick to the Brid Fights French chat for that. But thank you for watching, guys. If this is uploaded to a second channel, I thank you for watching this video, because obviously you don't know who I am, and I thank the video maker for for actually uploading this and obviously if you're watching this on my channel thank you for watching